Hey, yo, what's goody, all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the you? It's your boy J Nuck over here at Hookanucka, and today I got a special review for all of you. It's gonna kind of be a uh, tutorial on how to pack it uh, and how to how it smokes. Little review of the flavor. Um, all right, so the True Clouds review went over fantastic. The first look. So now it's time for me to go in depth and review it. But before we get into that, I'm going to let you know that I am smoking out of my Regal Diamond Wood. I uh, just got a regular uh, KM base, and I will be smoking out of my Alien Bowl today. That's what we will be packing. And we will be smoking True Clouds. I'm not sure which one I want to smoke yet. Um, I kind of really want to go with this Peach Iced Tea, but this summertime is phenomenal. I think I've been smoking quite a bit of this, so I'm going to go with the Summertime Peach Iced Tea. Now, if you watch my first look video, you will know that True Clouds is going to be a hookah cream. It's somewhat of an alternative to tobacco if you don't really want to smoke tobacco. So, they have a bunch of other alternatives out there. You could smoke Steam Stones. You could smoke Herbal Shisha. You could smoke Cream. Uh, you could even smoke like little gel beamer ice drops. So there's tons of things to choose from. So far, from everything that I've smoked, this is by far the best. You're going to get amazing clouds. You're going to get great smoke, great taste, great flavor. And this is just a really well thought out product. Now, normally this isn't something that I would just go out and purchase because I prefer tobacco personally. Uh, but I'm glad I got the chance to try this because... I don't know, let's say I just decided to get off of tobacco. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's say I decided to go ahead and get off of tobacco. I would definitely go to the cream. It's it's just a really good product, in my opinion. Um, what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to mix this with some uh, tobacco because you could smoke this in three different ways. You could smoke it on its own, which I'll show you what you have to do to do that. Um, you could add a bit of shisha on top, or you could mix it all together. But I don't really suggest the last uh, way to smoke it because I feel like you're going to lose a lot of flavor from the tobacco. Um, so it kind of defeats the purpose. I want to get both flavors, so I prefer the sprinkle on top method. But I'm going to go ahead and get into packing this and show you what we're working with. <clears throat> all right, so this is what you're going to have, right? So just kind of stir it up a little bit. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, you're gonna have a consistency like that. Get about this much in your hand. Take your bowl, plop it in there, and then just kind of spin it around. You wanna just coat as much as you can. Okay, coat the sides. And this is what it's starting to look like, but I'll show you what the finishing product looks like here in a second. Okay, and we're back. And this is pretty much the finished product. You could smoke it just like this. Let me actually clean my uh, spire a little bit. Because I like it to be a little nice and neat. But yeah, this is ready to smoke just like this. So get a good look at that. Okay, you could put a little more if you want, I suppose. But hold on, I got something on here. There we go. You can put a little more if you want, but you really don't need it. Like that's, you're good to go with that right there. Now what I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of Moranji in there. Cause like I said, I'm not one to want to switch to a non-tobacco. I like smoking tobacco out of my hookah. So uh, just gonna sprinkle this in. You don't need very much at all. And I kind of just use this as a shisha enhancer because, like I said, I'm not trying to quit smoking uh, the tobacco or I don't have a problem smoking it. So for me, this is just kind of like an enhancer for my clouds, which I really don't need. But uh, it also adds another dimension of flavor. So really, that's what we got right there. That's what it looks like. You're you're good to go. I'm going to get my uh, coals and everything going. We'll be smoking with the Lotus today, and we'll be right back. 
All right, so now we got everything set up. Let's go ahead and get into the smell of this. All right, well, it's definitely going to be a peach. You're going to pick up that peach note. I want to say it smells like, I don't know if you've ever come across like a peach flavored chapstick or something like that. Or maybe your girl, um, you kissed your girlfriend and she had on peach flavored lip gloss or ladies peach flavored lip gloss. That's what this kind of smells like. Like, you know, it's peach, but it, it doesn't smell like it'd be something that's like edible or something like that, which is kind of crazy. But I mean, after all, it is a cream, so... You're definitely going to pick up that peach note, but it's not going to be like a natural peach or something to that extent. So take that for what it's worth. Don't let it scare you off because I promise you I've smoked a lot of this. I've smoked the summertime and it's fantastic. I really enjoy this. So let's go ahead and see how all that translates into the flavor. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't think I'm getting sick. Cross your fingers. Um, okay, so let's taste it. Okay, so from the way, um, you know, that it's mixed, I can still separate the flavors. You know, obviously that Moranji is coming through from the mix. But uh, like I said, the way it's separated with my bottom layer being the True Clouds... I definitely get a nice peachy essence. Now, like I said, it's not going to be like a natural peach. Um, not even really a candied peach. It's just more of like a peach essence. That's the best way I can put it. Um, so as an enhancer, it's going to be phenomenal. I have smoked this on its own. Fantastic standalone flavor as well. You're just going to get a peach flavored smoke. Um, like, like I said, the best way I can put it is a peach essence, though. It's not really a candy because it's not overly sweet. Um, but it's not really a natural taste either. And I, I don't want you to think, oh, well, then that means it's a chemical taste. It could not be natural and not be candy and still not be a chemical taste. That that doesn't mean it has to be a chemical taste if it doesn't hit those two criteria. But it just gives you a nice peach essence. It's going to be different than any other tobacco peach I ever smoked. Um, but it's not bad. Like I said, it's good to smoke on its own. But me personally, I'm a tobacco guy, so I have to mix that tobacco in there. I'm not one for using an alternative, but as an enhancer, this works for me. I really do like it. Um, if you have the chance to try it as an enhancer, or maybe you are looking for a tobacco alternative, definitely go pick up some True Clouds. Like I said, the flavor is there. It's fantastic, and the clouds are definitely there. So let's go ahead and take a look at them so you can see. <coughs> Goodness. One more. So you're going to have nice, white, thick, puffy clouds. Stormtroopers, to be exact. Um, so, you know, True Clouds definitely doesn't disappoint. I know it's mixed with pure tobacco, but I promise on its own, you're going to get some nice clouds. Trust me. Um, this is available over at 5 Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boy. Big shout out to the good folks over at True Clouds as well. Uh, they wanted to send me some more stuff. They appreciated my first look. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch that first video, that first look, first impressions. Uh, I was really blown away from it. So with that being said, uh, by the way, wow, I almost missed this. I am using a Cloud Lotus uh, with three coconut coals. It performs just as well on aluminum foil. So just make sure you pack it how I showed you, coat the sides. You could put a little bit more if you're not going to add tobacco, uh, but you could actually get away with what I showed you, that finished product. Make sure you wipe the edges, keep everything clean. You don't want anything like coming out of your foil holes or getting onto your Lotus, uh, but it is easy cleanup. It's just cream, so hot water, it comes right out. You don't even really have to scrub. You can clean it with your hands. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you thought of this. I know this was kind of lengthy. I wanted to make it a quick hit. 
But then again, I also wanted to give you a tutorial on how to load it in your bowl. My suggestion, uh, only use funnel bowls. You might be able to get away with a um, vortex bowl. I don't use those though, so I don't know. Uh, definitely don't use a uh, Egyptian bowl. But uh, yeah, use a shallow, the shallowest funnel bowl you have and you should be good to go. So if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Please slap a thumbs up. You guys really came through on uh, the last video I asked you to do that. So if you could do that again, that'd be amazing. So I'm your boy Jay Nuck. Um, if you want a discount on True Clouds when you purchase it from Five Star, use my coupon code located in the, in the description below. I'm all over the place, y'all. Wow. And uh, I'll see you on the next review. I am editing it currently, so it is on the way. It's already recorded. Deuces.